Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is PM and in today's video I'm going to be going over my entire walk journey. Hope you guys like it. Um, my walk journey is kind of untraditional um, and yeah I thought it'd be like kind of interesting to share it in case maybe someone wanted to start walks and didn't necessarily have like all the criteria that people usually start walks with. So um, it's important for me to go like kind of back a little bit and tell you guys that like I've literally done everything and anything to my hair like I've had relaxed hair, I've had text relaxed hair, I've had bleached hair, I've had colored hair, I've had sew-ins, I've had natural hair, I did the whole blowout all the time, I did the straightening all, like I've had everything, I've tried it all and like I love just like playing around with my hair. Um, so at the time when I was thinking of getting locks, my hair was text laxed, which means that I did put a relaxer in it, but I didn't keep it for like the recommended amount of time or like shortened it. So it still had like a curl pattern. Um, so I knew I kind of wanted locks. So I told myself like to not blow dry or straighten my hair for these months where I'm like brainstorming if I'm fully going to do it just so that like the curls can be like in full force, if that makes sense. So I started thinking about locks for a good like year and I just kept going back and forth with if this was something I like should actually do but how I knew that it was really for me is because I think I was getting super tired of having to do my hair all the time like every time I would go to like an event or anything I was just so stressed out about like my hair so I was like you know I find locks beautiful and they're versatile as well but it's just like it gives you a little bit of a break. It's still a lot of work, but it I feel like it's less work than like what I had. So um, when I finally decided that like, okay, yeah, locks is for me. It's for like my lifestyle. It matches what I want. Um, I started to go on Pinterest and look for like inspo pictures, which I feel like is a really good tip. If you want locks and you don't know what the heck you want, go on pictures and type in locks. And there's so many girls who have all these beautiful locks that differ from each other. And it'll help you figure out if you want like smaller ones, if you want micro locks, if you want bigger ones. Like, it kind of helped me figure out. So I knew I wanted to do styles still. So I couldn't do like too little. And I didn't want to do too much because I was scared of like the time that it would take to retwist all of that. So I went with like a good medium size. I have about, I think, 73 locks, which I feel like is an appropriate size for my head. Um, it's just it's like not too much not too little so I started with two two strand twists on April 20th of 2022 and again that was with my like tech slacks tear like the ends were pretty straight I had like more like kinky curls in it but it was mostly like I guess I could compare it to like almost like a blow dry texture but I will put pictures or videos up um, so yeah I started with two strands, two strand twists and I kind of quickly saw that like my ends were too straight so I was worried that it wasn't gonna lock up so I started to research on YouTube like different methods of starting your locks and I came across instant lock the instant lock method which is when you literally take like a crochet needle and you hook it through your hair and you almost kind of tangle it in a way where it forms a nice cohesive lock so I was like that I think is perfect for me because my hair is not entirely straight I think it will take to the crochet so that's exactly what I did I took out my two strand twist and on getting the correct date on April 27th of 2022 I instant locked my entire head and I was like okay this is it like I knew once I had done that that like this is the method that was correct for me um so yeah I would do a lot of styles and I was lucky because I had like long ish or I guess I should say like medium-ish hair so I could still like put it up and do different styles um so I did that for a while um I added even like extensions to my hair I did like full locks even though I had real locks like I did all kinds of stuff and it was really fun but again I was like okay let me tone it back a little bit and I just wanted I, I just felt like every time I had these hairstyles I just missed my own hair I would always tell my friend, I can't wait to take these out, I can't wait to take these out. And I was like, why not just rock my own hair? So I did that for a little bit. Um, but then I, because my hair wasn't as long as I wanted it to be, I like missed having that like versati versatility or that ability to do a lot of stuff. So I was like looking up again on YouTube 
and I found that you could do walk extension and I was like oh my god I think that's what I need so I gathered all the information after watching countless videos I ordered my own hair because it gets really expensive and I figured like let me just do this on my own so I did my own walk extensions I added a little bit of length to my own hair um <clears throat> And it took me like almost three days. I will never do it again, but I saved a lot of money, so I'm really excited. And I got like to do it exactly how I wanted. I skipped like the stiffness stage. Like a lot of people will get walk extensions and it's super like stiff. I didn't have that because I did them on my own. And I, for some reason, I just think because I didn't crochet it so tight that it was able to be like looser. Um, and so, so I did my lock extensions on September 21st of 2022, um, and I literally haven't looked back since. Like, I freaking love them. So it's like been a minute since I've had locks, almost a year. It'll be a year in April, and then my lock extensions, I got them done at the end of um, 2022, so it's September. Um, yeah, I really like them. I feel like it has helped me, like grow out my locks to a size that I like and it has helped me keep the ability to do all these different hairstyles um what else I have had some that have fallen out but for the most part they really haven't I don't know I guess I did it really well because um it really has not fallen out and um what else should I say about these um I technically don't even need to like spray water on them because it's like not my hair i really only focus on like more so like the roots all around um <clears throat> and yeah um what else am i missing honestly making these videos is kind of hard when you don't have like a guide or like a questionnaire so if you guys have any questions on anything i've mentioned or want me to go more in depth um please leave a comment down below i can even make like a separate q a video because i don't know what you guys know and don't know or what you guys want to hear about or don't want to hear about so yeah um i do have to say though that i think i am gonna like i'm ready to cut off my walk extensions or like for the most part like most of my walk extensions because i feel like my hair has gotten like to a good length and um they're getting kind of long like they're they're pretty long if you can see that so I feel like it's a good time to cut them off um, so that might be a video that comes up shortly me cutting my walk extensions off um, but yeah hopefully you guys like this video if you did again make sure you like comment and subscribe it helps me a lot and stay tuned for my other videos and if you feel like you're gonna miss me too much check out the videos that I already have posted. Alright, bye!